Today we're going to be talking about a super fun way to really bring out the colors of hair in Photoshop and this is something which you will enjoy doing. So without any further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the world of Photoshop and if you want to go ahead and download any other photos shown in the video, make sure to go ahead and check the links in the description. Now, enhancing the color of hair is very simple but before we jump into that, I want you to do a little something. All you have to do, select the eyedropper tool and make sure the sample size is not point sample. Make sure it is something around somewhere around 31 by 31 or 51 by 51. Why is that so? Well, let me make it clear for you. Let's zoom in quite a bit. When you have point sample selected, and we sample the colors, it samples from that particular point, that particular pixel. What does that mean? Let's zoom in. You can see these pixels right in there, these small little squares, all right? So if you have point sample selected, and if you try to sample from this area, let's make sure show sample ring is selected. Have a look at the color. So this particular sample, just this point, this pixel is sampled. And let's zoom out. And if we move from this area to this area, the color suddenly changes. Look, we are moving around the same area, the color is changing very constantly. And this can be harmful. Why this can be harmful? Well, maybe you sampled a noise. Maybe you wanted to sample a part of the hair and there's a noise over there, noise pixel over there, and you clicked on that and noise probably is green and then you paint, it's gonna create a problem. So make sure you have chosen something like 31 by 31 average. What that does is that it creates a square. For example, if you sample from this area, it creates a square around it, measuring 31 by 31, 31 along its length, 31 along its breadth. So it takes an average of that color in that square. That way you're more accurate. You can also go ahead and select 101 by 101. It selects a larger square and takes average from that, but 31 is fine. Okay, it's fine. Now let's zoom out, depends upon your image. If your image is very huge, high resolution, 50 megapixels, then you might go for something like 51 by 51. All right, let's zoom out quite a bit. And the first thing that you need to do, very simple, create a layer, as simple as that, create a layer. And mind you, this is hair color enhancement. This is not changing the hair color. That's a completely different tutorial. All right, you can name this probably hair color enhance. Whoops, I missed out the spelling, enhance mint whoops all right so there you go now change the blend mode of this one from normal to soft light now comes the fun part take the brush zoom in quite a bit to the hair and let's sample the strand so hold the alt or option click on this area and just simply paint along the strand make sure the flow is somewhere around five percent and just simply paint along the strand isn't this fun? Now take a sample from this area and paint along the strand. Look at the color of the strand. It does look amazing, doesn't it? So time and again, keep on taking samples from that particular area and paint along the whole strand, just like that. Okay, now let's take sample from this area, paint along this particular area, okay. That looks great. Now for another strand right in there, let's just paint for another, this strand, let's take sample from there and paint it over there. This brings out diversity in colors, okay? Since the flow is low, you get more chances to paint, which means to get an intensity of 100%, you might have to paint 20 times because the flow is 5%. All right, so let's take a sample from this one and paint on this strand look at the diversity of the colors right have a look at this thing now let me show you the before and after really really quickly so this is a really quick work and you have to do this all throughout the hair right so let me do this area as well now let me show you the before and after so this is the after as you can see just this small area and this is the before look at the difference just look at the difference then you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity later now i'm going to fasten up the process because this might take a lot of time but it's very very fun to do
So there you go, it seems to be done. Now I have done a really really quick job. You can take your time and do it strand by strand. You can really bring out the best effects out of this. All right, so have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. And at the end, you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity if you think it's too much. Something like probably, this looks fine, 95 looks fine. And you can also increase it, increase the intensity if you want to by making a duplicate of this by pressing Control or Command J. So it gets more intense if you're looking for that dreamy look. Now you can make a group of both of these by holding the Control or Command and selecting the other one pressing Ctrl or Command G and then decrease the opacity. Something like that. Okay, that looks wonderful as well. You can also go ahead and merge this Ctrl or Command E with the group selected. Okay, so it's one and change the blend mode again to soft light and then you can control the opacity of this one. It's more intensified version of the same thing. Something like 85 or something. That looks very dreamy. It looks really nice. Have a look at the before and after, before, after. Now you might be thinking, well, she had lighter colored hair, but what about someone who has dark hair? What to do then? Well, I have an example for you. Have a look at this example. So first of all, as she has dark hair, I'm not saying she has black hair. For black hair, it's a completely different story. If she has dark hair and the hair has some colors, then you need to go ahead and create a curves adjustment layer. And first of all, brighten up the hair and then color it. So I'm gonna do it really quickly. So curves, brighten it all up. Probably increase the contrast a bit, just a bit. And then with the mask selected, press Ctrl or Command I. Then take the brush and then just paint on the hair with white. Make sure this time the flow is 100 and just make a selection of the hair. You can also go ahead and increase the curves even more if you want to if you want more brightness, something like this, and just paint on the hair. Make sure mask is selected and simply paint on the hair, make it brighter. So when you make it brighter, I'm gonna do a really quick job over here, really quick job, okay, like that. You shouldn't do something like this, but when you make this brighter, this is extra, let's erase that, okay. Then you can go ahead and create a new layer and then make sure, take the brush and you can change the blend mode of this one to soft light and then zoom in quite a bit Okay, and then sample these areas and start painting with slow around 10% or 5%, whatever your choice is, and then just start painting on those areas, just like that, okay? You can really have create a nice hair. Now her hair has a little bit of color, so it's very apt to do it in her hair. Have a look at the before and after, very quick before and after, before, after. Now if you think this is too bright, getting a little faded over here, to correct that you can add one more curves adjustment layer and probably take it down like that, like this, and then Control or Command I and just paint on that particular area to solve it. Okay, you can solve it even more by taking it making it more darker, something like this, and that looks fine. Now you can come back to this layer and do your job. But what about someone who has completely black hair, just like me? I have a couple of grays, but that's okay. At that point of time, it's like a blank canvas. You don't have to sample colors. You can paint in with any color that you want. That comes under the category of changing hair color, okay? That's a blank canvas, That there's nothing in there. There's no color in there, it's jet black. So all you can do, you can create a layer, change the blend mode to soft light, you can choose any color that you want, yellow, brown, whatever you want, and paint on different shades of yellows or browns or reds in different areas and create a really nice effect. So that's how you can go ahead and enhance the hair of the color, the color of the hair in Photoshop. It's very simple to do. Create a new layer, change the blend mode to soft light, take the brush, make sure you have a soft brush, decrease the flow to somewhere around 5%, Take a sample along the strand and paint it. Also, make sure when you have selected the eyedropper tool, the sample size is larger. It's not point sample. It's somewhere around probably 31 by 31 or 51 by 51 and that should work fine for you. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys when it's fun. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.